So today what we're going to do is we're going to rebuild the Baltimore Orioles. Still a team that is suffering. They just can't seem to get a winning team put together. And it just seems like they're not really trying either. So today, let's get them back on track. Let's get them winning. And let's have some fun with it. I hope you do enjoy it. If you do, thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and enjoy the content. And of course, in the comment section down below, let me know what team you want to see next for a rebuild. So again, I know we're probably going to get the comments of what roster I'm using. Just the live roster that MLB The Show has. You have to go to the settings. You have to go to load and then load live roster. And then, of course, save that and then put it in there. I have tweaked my roster a little bit for some overalls and potential. So that's why mine's going to be a little bit different. But um, yeah, that's probably the best roster that's currently out right now. I know there's going to be people who start coming up with custom rosters and edited rosters in the time in, in the future. So we'll see what happens. We'll see if I can find a good roster going forward. So let's let's get into it. I think everything else should be good. Everything on manual. We'll head into spring training. We'll talk about this team and then we'll hop into the regular season. Again, I'm not making any trades until the first trade deadline to start. So. Let me show you the team, what we're working with for the squad. Pitching wise, we've got the franchise god himself, John Means. I'm excited for Grayson Rodriguez. I'm excited for DL Hall. That's about it pitching wise. Bullpen and like the closing pitchers, the bullpen, kind of iffy. Uh, um, catcher, obviously super excited about Adley Rutschman. Hopefully he develops. He'll probably be a late call up this year. We've got Mountcastle, Trey Mancini. Okay, all right, kind of exciting. Jorge Mateo, we'll see how he does. We got Rugnet Odor. Hmm, I'm trying to see who else we could be excited about right now. Kobe Mayo, super low rated. That should probably be a little bit higher. Calvin Gutierrez, E. Who is Darnet Darrell Hernaiz? Who is this? Who is this? A, he is a real player. Is he? What is going on with him? I mean, I'm looking at his numbers. He's a very, very high contact guy. Um, he's only at 72 rated because of his fielding and his speed. Otherwise, he'd probably be low 60s. We do have Gunnar Henderson. Austin Hayes um, normally doesn't do well, but we'll see how he does this year. Cedric Mullins, Colton Kowser as well. And then, of course, DJ... No, not DJ Stewart. <laughs> um, Heston Kierstead is another guy that I'm excited about. So, we've got a decent couple prospects coming up. I know the Orioles have uh, one of the better pros uh, farm systems in baseball. That's what I was trying to say, farm systems. So we've got an okay squad to start with. It's definitely going to be a project, but I'm, I'm excited to see what we can do with this team. So let me drop it down to 26 guys. I'm not going to have any shock like Rutschman starting, Grayson Rodriguez is starting. It's probably just going to be the best players we have available. And then I'll see you guys at the draft and we'll see what kind of prospects we can get. All right, let's get into the draft. What do we have? The first pick? A lot of pressure. Got to get this right. Um, Like I said, I'm trying to avoid taking closers, even though I know that closers are typically the ones that have the highest overall right off the rip. So this guy looks really good. Charlie Pearson. I like the looks of him. What else do we have? Do we have anything really? Another starting pitcher, a center fielder who looks really good. Looks really good. What about the starting pitcher? Starting pitcher looks good too. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go an outfielder, a lefty outfielder. There we go. That's who we're gonna go with. Second round. Let's see what we got here. Roger Glass looks pretty good as well. A lefty bat again. We got a first baseman, Luis Ramirez. Hmm. Couple first basemen actually. Brad Ojeda kind of looks the same. Like almost identical. 55, 60, 50. A little bit better on the contact, a little less power. So that's. Something we can keep an eye on. Anybody else? I'm kind of looking for players that are going to be ready immediately. So second baseman or first baseman? I feel like the second baseman might. Ooh, is it the better move? Is it the better move? Because oh, also plays left field and right field, but the fielding's pretty bad. So do we want the bat or do we want the second baseman? Who looks like he's gonna be really good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the first baseman. I'm gonna take the first baseman. You can never go wrong with an extra bat. Okay, so he the the second baseman I was looking at went to the Rockies, and I'm kind of upset that Ojeda is still here. Because if I would obviously hindsight, I'm not gonna know that he's gonna be here in the third round. But I could have gotten him in the third round, which would have been great, because then I could have had glass and then taken Ojeda. Unfortunately, you know. Oh well. Um, I think a catcher is available that I want. I don't know if he actually is anymore. He might have gotten taken. He didn't get taken. 
I'm going to take him. And then our last two picks, I don't really know where to go from here. We haven't taken any pitchers, have we? We've taken a center fielder, two first basemen, and a catcher, right? That makes sense. Yeah, because it's the fifth round. So I guess I guess maybe we take a, a pitcher here and hope he's good. <laughs> I'm going to take Ken White. I know you didn't really see much of the attributes there. I'm really just interested to see what happened with the second baseman. Was he good or not? And uh, did we make the wrong choice? <laughs> That's really what it is. So... Let's finish it off. Let's go first to the Rockies. And let's see what this pick was. Roger Glass, 70 overall with 79 potential. Okay, not, not terrible, not great. Let's see what we got here. 95 potential, 69 overall. Look at those hitting stats for our center fielder already. And the speed. I like that. 88 potential for Luis Ramirez. So we made the right choice in the first baseman. Definitely mashes versus lefties definitely matches versus lefties brad ojeda has also got 80 plus potential he's got some good stats as well really bad fielding but overall pretty good d potential for the catcher which is super disappointing c potential for ken white and then our last pick had also d potential but for our first three picks and even the fifth pick i'll take it those are some solid solid drafts drafts solid draft picks all right let's quickly take a pick or right, take a peek at what has happened. Yuri Perez and JJ Blade for Adolis Garcia. Kyle Lewis for Alcantara, Morel, and Owen Casey. Interesting. Jonathan Scope for Pearson and Geraldo. Or Geraldo. Winker and Hanager for Lau. Wow, a lot of big trades. Taylor Rogers for Hassel, Reese, and Aaron Leisure. What else we have? Jameson Hanna for Toribio and Rodriguez. Solano for Ethan Small. Med Rosario for Lorenzo, Lorenzen, and Jose Suarez. Grichik for George Valera and Peyton Battenfield. Tramel for Gonzalez. Brantley for Sandoval. Pinder for Jose Devers. Some interesting trades going on. So I've been told that SDS is working on a fix for the trades in an upcoming patch. I don't know when that patch is going to be, but apparently, but they've gotten back to me. They told uh, they told me they even tweeted in response to some of the trades that I was putting out yesterday that were kind of crazy, that they are looking into the trades, hopefully going to have a patch out fairly soon to kind of fix them, to patch them, right? Like, that's what that's what we're looking for. So it's good to see that they're, they're staying on the ball with things like that. And um, yeah, there's some pretty interesting trades that have happened so far this year in this in this rebuild so far. Um, I have noticed if you really wanted to, you could tone down the trade frequency by one notch and it should help you out a little bit. Um, so what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll test it out for this rebuild and see how it goes. So let's kind of see what we're looking like at the deadline. Anybody like kind of surprising me? No, <laughs> not at all. Wow. This is Tanner Scott's doing pretty well. He's doing fairly well. And uh, Taylor Wells, not terrible either on the bench. Mateo's not doing terribly, but Cedric Wallens is looking good. Mount Castle's looking solid. Santander is an interesting one. He's got one more year of team control. I think he might be a guy that I look to move. I really do. Mancini, I want to try to keep as long as possible. Austin Hayes, like I said, he's just one of those guys that never does well. Obviously, he specializes versus lefties, but I kind of want someone that I can rely on in everyday situation. Urias is doing well. Odor is actually not terrible either. Gutierrez and then Chirino. So what I'm thinking here is, what is Rutschman doing? How is he? He's doing all right. He's doing all right. Obviously, in real life, I think he's going to be one of those guys that gets called up and is ready to go, especially at the age of 24. But for MLB The Show, his stats just aren't good enough yet. So I think I'm going to let him sit in the minors for the rest of the year, and then he'll be our starter for next year moving forward. Anybody else that's like absolutely mashing? Newstrom is kind of. But outside of that, I'm thinking, let's leave the team as is, but I would like to move Santander and maybe Hayes right now. Santander and Hayes, so what can I get for them? And I'm trying to think of maybe someone that's a little bit younger, someone that can kind of build with the team as well. Biggio's doing terribly. He's got a good on base percentage though, and we do need a third baseman. If I could get a trade, maybe like Santander, or they're looking for a center fielder. I guess Austin Hayes was originally a center fielder, I could, I would, I would consider moving Biggio, for Biggio. I know it's a within the division trade, which I normally don't like to do, but I would like, I might consider it. I might consider it. Andujar is not doing too well. Hmm. 
I'm trying to see if there's anybody else. Hassan Diaz. Hassan Diaz. It could be another infielder for us. Do we need infield help? We have Odor. Becomes a free agent at the end of the season. We do also have Mateo. And we do have a couple other infielders. Like middle infielders that we could shuffle around. So I don't necessarily think we need a second baseman. But Biggio at third would give me something that I'm looking for. I kind of like that trade if we can make it happen. So let's go to the Blue Jays. And see Biggio. Yeah, let's, let's, let's see what. Let's see what we can get. It might even take like Austin Hayes right off the rip. Yeah. So let's see what about Santander? Okay, so if they'll, they'll take Austin Hayes, I don't have good luck with Hayes. So that's normally why I trade him. If I can get maybe like a reliever, not no, no one too crazy, but someone that like may give me like a season or two, or maybe like a Barucky. How's Barucky doing? Really well. Can I get him in the trade? Boom, there we go. That's a perfect move for us. All right, Rudy Odor and Jacob Nottingham are giving me Edward Cabrera. Didn't expect this to go through, but he's 64 overall, which is a little worrying. Um, I was kind of hoping he'd be a little bit higher, but he does have decent control and velocity. Might be one of those guys that just does really well. I was also kind of looking around other pitchers that we could potentially pick up that would be decent and kind of around that 70-ish overall rating. What I'm noticing is they really kind of lowered potentials and also overalls so that like players just didn't get super inflated really really quickly which i completely understand but at the same time i'm kind of like man now no one's like good at all <laughs> so we're kind of at the point where like it's just like it, it, you really need to grind to get some really good pitchers or really good like position players like that's what i'm noticing so ah man let's see i'm like i, I kind of wanted to avoid can I get Luis Hill? Ooh. Oh, that's that's a tempting trade right there. I kind of like that one. Anybody else doing really well in the farm system of any team, realistically? Jaden Hill. He's already almost a 70, but Edward Cabrera is not. Can I get Jaden Hill? I'm kind of interested in Jaden Hill. All 50s, almost 60 overalls. So, yeah, he can kind of build with our, our younger team. And I think he could potentially break the squad pretty soon. I hope he didn't get thrown into the majors. He did. All right. Well, that's not ideal. Um, oh, no. He's in he's in single A. Perfect. So, I will make that move. That was what? Nottingham plus Odor. I was getting rid of one of those players that I just didn't think I was going to use anymore. Odor, I'm probably not going to keep for the future. So, that was a, that was a decent move for us. I'm going to call up Newstrom which I should have the spot available. And now we've got Biggio at third. We're going to have Mateo at second. And then I think we're gonna, just going to throw Newstrom in left. And that should solve all our problems. Hopefully. <laughs> I think it should. I think it should. I, I hope it does. At least. No, no that's not true. That's not going to help our problems at all. But it, it gives us, you know, a third baseman we can build with. Why is Mancini in left here? Oh, no DH. Okay. Anyways, it's not going to solve our problems, but it's going to get us a little bit closer. I think Biggio is a good pickup for us for the time being. And then obviously Jaden Hill also. I'm going to see how Santander finishes the season. But for right now, I'm liking what I'm seeing. As expected, we're pretty bad. 15-1-12. Like, that's really bad. I wasn't expecting that. We might be the worst team in baseball again. Looking like it. It's looking, oh, by a lot. Oh, by 15 games. Good Lord. Jesse Winker went to the Rays? Did we talk about that? I think we did. Yeah, we did, didn't we? Okay, so I do have a, a little bit of a plan with this team. I do kind of want to keep it young. Um, I do want to have some of those prospects make the squad. I do want to have some of those guys be part of this core. And so that's kind of my my thought process with this team. Shohei, I love seeing, excuse me, I love seeing him in that MVP race, not just because of his pitching stats, but also because of those hitting stats. Those are insane. Anyways. What I was saying was, man, this uh, sparkling water, not a sponsor, but um, <laughs> as I say, it's generic sparkling water. Anyways, what I was saying was I want this team to kind of stay young. I want them to kind of build with this with these prospects. And I have a couple of players that I have in mind that I want to bring into this team. And obviously, I want like DL Hall to be part of it. I want John Means to kind of be like the, a, a veteran piece, but then also where is he Grayson Rodriguez Grayson Rodriguez I want him to somehow get involved as well and obviously Edley Rutschman we have Kierstead and the other one Kowser. those are kind of the main guys I know there's a couple infielders as well I'm 
going to keep my eye on them and how they develop. But I definitely have the main guys that I kind of want to throw in there and get involved. So let, let me take a look at pitching, see how everything went. DL Hall came up. Yeah, he got rocked. He got rocked. And it's because his walks per nine are super low. That's going to hurt him. You can see 15 walks in about 30 innings. Not ideal, but he's only 67 overall. We've got a couple more options on him, so that should be good. What about the rest of our squad? How are we looking? Anybody that stood out as in like being good? Tanner Scott was pretty solid. Baraki came, gave us seven innings. Not terrible. All right. So who else pitched this year in the majors? Jorge Lopez was bad. Anybody else? I don't think so. Right. Oh, Kevin Bradish. Bradish. Pfft, no, thank you. Lakins. We got to use him next year. Why was he not used this year? That's completely on me. 100%. John Means is going to be good. We know that. We want him to stay at the top of our rotation. Anybody that's here did? No. No one did well. Oh, boy. Lineups. Bavra got a little bit of time. And you know what? He wasn't bad. But I don't expect those numbers to continue. I mean, look at his hitting stats. They're pretty low. Anybody surprise me on the bench? DJ Stewart a little bit. So maybe he can be a guy that helps us off the bench. Maybe a DH spot. That could be something that works out. Let's see. Who got sent down? Nevin? No. Gutierrez did. Yeah. I, I expected that. And I think that was it. Maybe Ben Boom? Nope. Okay. Anyways. Cedric Mullins. 30 home runs for Mullins. Okay. I like it. Mountcastle struggled. Why is he struggling this year? The vision and discipline? I want him to be good, though. I want him to be really good. Santander? Mm. Man. Man. He might, he might be a guy that gets traded. Mancini was okay. He did hit 31 home runs, so I'm pretty happy about that. Urias was solid. 41 doubles. Okay. And then Biggio. The average is a little low. The on-base percentage is, is nice, though. Like, I can work with that. And then anybody else surprising me? Okay. So, we definitely need to improve this team. And quickly. Let's see what we got here. We have the Mets winning the World Series. And wow. They cannot catch a break. DeGrom possibly out until like mid to late June. Scherzer just went down with like a hamstring injury. He's day to day, so he might miss opening day. Ooh, that's that's a that's a bummer for sure. That's a tough one. All right. Why do these keep popping up? Like they tell me I can turn these off, but then when I turn them off, they pop right back up. Like, come on, let me like not let that happen. All right, so Mancini, I think he's gonna be like a I'll give him two years. I'll give him two years, six and a half mil. He stays with the squad. Everybody else, I don't want them back. I don't want them back at all. So here, I'm going to offer arbitration. I'm going to sort out the 40 man. I'm going to sort out the contracts. And then we'll talk about how much money we have to spend and who I'm going to spend it on. All right. So looking at our lineup, like this is, this is okay. I definitely would like to add better players, obviously. Um, looking at the outfield, potentially a trade. Um, I look, I like looked at our prospects as well with, here said possibly coming up soon ish we got Kowser as well and then obviously rosario who actually looks like he could be a guy that comes up maybe like next year along with some of the other guys that we have infield is a little a little strange we do have urias and biggio who i'm kind of happy with it's second base that i'm like not a hundred percent sure with just based on their hitting stats that's kind of the big issue i have with them even kobe mayo is kind of low Gunnar Henderson's hitting stats aren't terrible, but again, he's probably a year or two away. So we might need like a stopgap guy. First base, we're pretty set. Catcher, we've got Rutschman. I would need a backup unless I go with Ben Boom. And then pitching, starters, starters, kind of like some veterans because we're going to have Rodriguez, Hill, and DL Hall right around the corner. So probably someone that's like, you know, maybe, maybe Nola. Maybe Nola's not bad. You know, Kershaw would be kind of interesting, but I think I could only get a year or two out of him. Sevi would be an interesting one. Anybody else? Maybe Manaya, Musgrove, Tyone. Let's see, maybe Eflin? Eflin is like a cheap help us out for a couple seasons type situation. Could could be the move. Joe Ross also seems like someone that might might work. So there's definitely some some good pitchers available. So I think I want to get. What do we have? We have like three youngsters who could fight out for the three, four, five spot. Maybe even just like the four, five. One of them ends up a long reliever. So I at least need two. I at least need two to be safe this year or next year. I'll need one, like two, two pitchers. So do I go all out 
to try to get him now. Severino only wants about 15 mil. Oh, okay. Uh, I do like he has A potential too, because if they're in the 80s and they only have B potential, that probably means they're they've kind of capped at where they're at itching wise you know you know so like Eflin probably has a little bit more to grow it's probably also not really expensive about 12 mil a little bit more than I was anticipating I think I think I take you know Sevy away from the Yankees um he's looking for a shorter deal I'll bump it up a little bit maybe like almost just above 16 mil I should do it yeah and then I'm gonna pick up someone that's like maybe closer to like the 30s range maybe someone that could end up being a little bit of help. Ooh, do I go Ross, Eflin, Ross, Eflin? Who had the better year? About the same. We'll go at, ooh, how much does Ross want? Seven mil, Eflin wanted a 12. I'll take a shot with Eflin. He's only getting a two-year deal. What about like two years, 14 mil? Sounds like a lot, it does. But if that could get the job done, that'd be great. I would love another pitcher. I would love another pitcher. I just don't know who I'm gonna be able to get. Let's see here. Let's see here. I mean, just a guy that didn't get signed and released. So this is a guy that didn't get signed in the draft. I'm kind of intrigued. Kind of intrigued by that one. Anybody else that could help us out? Someone that's like a little bit lower rated? No. Ugh. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is maybe we go with, I don't know. You know what? Let's take a shot with Whistler. He wants how much? Eight mil. I'm out. I'm out. All right. Catchers, we're good. I'm going to get a backup later. First base set. Second base. How is Wit in this game? Not great. How's Kike? Eh. Colton Wong's an interesting one. I, I kind of need a leadoff guy. That's what I'm noticing. Like, Cedric Mullins is good, but I'd kind of like to drop everybody like a spot. Maybe something like, something like this, maybe. And then, like, Cedric Mullins leadoff or the two spot. And then in the two spot or the leadoff spot, I'd have someone that's really good contact. And I feel like maybe a second baseman could that could be that guy. But like, isn't really anybody that's filling that spot for me. So we might just have to maybe maybe third base. Matt Duffy, the franchise franchise bat of dreams. <laughs> uh, shortstop. What do we have here? We could go big on the shortstop and really kind of kickstart this this rebuild. And then maybe move Rios to second base. Ooh, hoo, hoo. I like that idea a lot. So do we go Tim Anderson, Trey Turner, or Dansby Swanson? All about the same age. One has A potential, which is kind of making me think, let's, let's full send it on the Trey Turner. Ooh, are we gonna be able to get him? Does he want like a longer deal? So can I get him for like eight years? Give him the player option. Is that put us in first place? Nine years is a long time. It is a long time. I'm not going to lie. That's not ideally what I wanted to do, but we'll, we'll take it. And now, Nimmo's also a possibility. Do I need him, though? So what I'm thinking here is we're probably not always going to have Mancini, right? He's probably going to drop in overall. He could potentially move to the bench as kind of just that guy that we keep on the team because he's been an Oriole his whole career, right? He's been with the yeah. So what I'm thinking is we could potentially have one of those good outfield bats that we have. Either they could be part of the outfield or they could be the DH or we could shift things around a little bit. Hmm. Because Urias is going to move to second. We're about to sign a second baseman. And then we could get... In. Oh, man. Do we do we sign an outfielder? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Is it worth doing right now? Cause like I obviously just said I wanted to get some of these younger guys involved. Like how far are out are they? They're not too far out. That's the thing. So Santander is probably out, and we could turn to Kierstead or Kowser or Rosario. We have Rutschman. We have the pitchers. Okay, okay, okay. I like I I, I kind of have an idea now. I think I think we can move some stuff around. All right. I th I think we could definitely. I might get like a stopgap guy, a stopgap guy, someone that's a little bit older, like Mitch, even though I think he's going to fall off a lot, but I think like a Mitch could, could do the work for a season and then give him a season, let those guys develop.
and then we could flip him at the deadline if he's doing really well and get a really good prospect in return boom there it is i like it and that way we don't have someone that's going to be here three four seasons and takes away from our prospects that's the move 100 percent. that's what we're doing now i think we leave it there and just see what happens in free agency for this first season which usually takes a little bit longer Sever severino was like dude that offer is way too good to pass up i'm signing it asap any other big moves so far no musgrove goes to the dodgers we do get trey turner and max muncie to the astros oh cleverser to the d-backs did we get everybody that we wanted mitch is still holding out i mean we're like really his only his only thing i mean nelson cruz would be kind of cool but i'm gonna george springer how much does he want like 16 mil for a season hear me out dh hear me out dh how why did he get cut how, why did he get cut can tell Marte still hasn't signed either did anybody else get cut that i'd be interested in because that's that's crazy he got cut scope i think his contract actually expired but scope's available josh bell interesting he did have a really good season Ooh, any any relievers how's kenley oh he's fallen off on off so much but I, I i think yeah i'm george springer yes please two years i'll do the club option which means i'm gonna have to pay him a little bit more than what i normally would but you're serious and if he doesn't do well we either trade him or we let him go you know like that's not a terrible thing kershaw to the twins is an interesting one we're gonna go to the draft i don't i don't think i want anybody um like griffin canning shouldn't be here not at all. I'm trying to see if there's any other names that like really shouldn't be here. Like Kirby Yates. That's an interesting one. Mm, anybody else? Anybody else? Like, honestly, it doesn't look too bad. It really doesn't look too bad at all. George Springer. Oh, he's going to get picked up 100%. That's unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. Yeah, someone has to take George Springer. There's no way he doesn't get picked up. Ooh, the contract at 16 mil, though, might be the issue. But um, him being there is kind of annoying, like really annoying. Like, why? Why is he there? That shouldn't that shouldn't be the case at all. And uh, I think I'm going to pass. I think I'm going to pass. I'm not going to pick up anybody. Um, I am going to skip my selection. And I want to see if someone takes Springer, which it doesn't look like he is. So that's good to see. So I think we're good there. All right. Let me show you what we're working with for the season. I signed a couple like fringe players to kind of fill out the minor league. So if anybody makes it, I'll show you. But like right now, this is kind of what we're working with. Oh, Lakins should not be there. We got to find a long reliever. Actually, I have one. I have one. We have Oltenevich, who I did sign. Um, So yeah, we're really low on money, by the way. Like really, 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 really low. Um, Who had a really bad year that shouldn't return. The, my best, my, my best pitcher. Oh, uh okay so maybe we do we rock an extra pitcher is that is that what we're doing here or maybe keegan aiken gets sent down but i need him maybe dylan tate gets sent down i think that's what we're gonna do here dylan tate can get sent down for a season and then we rock like that so yeah that'll be the i even i can't believe i didn't even see that that was the case but yeah that's the that's the team um the, the two pitchers help out a lot and offensively i think we're fantastic but pitching wise we are we are really weak you know, when you take a look at the lineup, I don't hate our bench. It's it's okay. And then when you look at like Mullins, Trey Turner, Mancini, Springer, Santander, Mountcastle, Urias, Biggio, and Rutschman. Like offensively, I think this is great. And I think because we have a couple older players that also will allow some of these younger guys to kind of slowly work their way in. And on top of that, I was talking about the pitchers that we have. We've got Rodriguez. We've got Hill. We've got not Dylan Tate, but Terrence Gill. Uh, we've got DL Hall as well. And... um. Yeah, so like those three definitely will slowly work their way into the team, which is awesome. And then obviously with the the lineup, we've got Rosario, Kowser, and Kierstead, all guys that I'm keeping my eye on quite a bit. So we've got the young guys. We've got some veterans as well. Like I said, our budget's super low, 15 mil. I, I fully expect it to kind of fluctuate here and there just based on the trades. Santander is a guy that I'm going to keep my eye on, possibly going to get traded for next year. Same thing with Springer. Like, in in the moment, it seemed like a really good idea. He hit 32 home runs. 
a really, really good season. I just don't think at 33 years old with B potential and he's already kind of in the mid 80s, he's going to really hold his rating slash improve. So we'll have to wait and see how things go. But yeah, I'll see you guys at draft day. See what we can get. Devers goes to the White Sox. All right. Hendricks and Angles. Okay. Interesting. We're not even at the draft yet. So first pick of the draft once again. And honestly, I might take a closer this time because that'll definitely give us. Oh, oh, Mr. Joe. I mean, yeah, the closers look unbelievable once again this year. So that's good to know. Like if I'm if I'm in like dire need of a bullpen arm, I can turn to. Oh, I can turn to this starter, too. Jeez, that guy looks insane. Do, do I need? Oh, boy. Do I take the closer and get this surefire reliever that we will have for the rest of the rebuild? Like this guy right here will Robert Moore from Venezuela. This guy right here probably is going to be a, like our closer every game for the rest of the rebuild. Same with Paul Jackson. Same with Lozano. Like these guys, Paul Jackson already looks unbelievable. The control is a little low, but out, like outside of that, this guy's going to be insane. Like I know this guy's going to be like in the 80s by season four. Like that's and we're in season two right now. You, you see what I'm picking up? You see what I'm no? Are you, are you are you picking up what I'm putting down? That's what I meant to say. But you, you, or do we take the second baseman? <sighs> what do we think? What do we think? What do we think? What do we think? I think it's not cool to draft the reliever first round of the draft. Boom. Joe's in the team. I totally didn't show you my next pick because we skipped around three and I kind of had a, a <laughs> just like a mouth open just completely forgot what i was doing moment i picked solomon galeski um yeah i literally i i kid you not i was sitting there just like <laughs> i had just a complete just brain went completely just everything shut down for a moment and i just went full autopilot on who i was gonna get and i was actually thinking about taking javier vina and he's still available so might as well take him and i think we're gonna finish with another pitcher robbie taylor it looks like we're going pitcher heavy here Oh, we got one more. We got one more. One more pick. Round six. We are going to get Lorenzo Hernandez. And that's going to be our final pick. All right. How did we do? Look at look at that pick right there. 95 potential, 72 overall. Did I call him Joe this whole time? It's Jeff. Jeff Corona. I've been calling him Joe. Oh, boy. Um. So, yeah. Jeff's in the team. <laughs> Solomon Galeski. Not bad. Uh, he's going to take some time to develop, but not too bad at all. Next up, 58 overall, Vina with B potential. Again, another long-term project. And then 79 potential for Robbie Taylor. And D potential for, for Hernandez. Um, that's disappointing. He does have a cannon, though. And some speed. Good vision, good discipline, and good hitting. But he's not going to improve much more, so that sucks. But overall, not a bad draft once again. The second baseman... Could be our set, our starting second baseman by the end of the rebuild. All right, so we've actually turned it around quite a bit. Um, so we're 59 and 49. Um, where are we? We're three and a half games out, but in the wild card, we're holding the second spot. I really don't like that they made it light blue. You, you can't you can't see it. Oh man, the colors that they chose this year make it really difficult to see. But um, yeah. We're, we're in the wild card, which it's, which makes sense, right? Like our offense, unbelievable. Um, ooh, Springer, he is going down like I said he would. Hmm, do I do I make a make a little flip? Santander though. Ooh, so maybe we don't. Maybe George Springer is the guy we flip for some pitching. We ooh, we could we could use some pitching. We could definitely use some pitching. So I think I I I think that's the move. Let's see how everyone's doing. Yeah, I think I think we maybe maybe like a, a a really good starter. That's what I'm thinking. No, 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 no. Closer, closer, because we've got we've got these guys like Jaden Hill looks fantastic. El Hall starting to turn things around a little bit. Grayson Rodriguez is struggling, but I fully expect these guys to be pieces of our rebuild moving forward. So I think, oh, do I do I get a a placeholder starter? For Springer or do I get a really really good closer because Tyler Wells is doing really well so I, th I think a bullpen and then maybe like a starter whose contract expires I think that might be the move so what do we got going on here in terms of players we could get um like Chris Bryant why is Chris Bryant here like 
what's going on here? Um, but like Brian Reynolds, I, I kind of understand this because the Pirates are shopping Brian Reynolds in real life. Austin Meadows is getting shopped in real life a little bit, but Chris Bryant shouldn't be here. Like he should not be. Tarek Skubal probably shouldn't be there either. You know what I mean? So let me see. Who was I looking at? Maybe like Lucas Sims. Um, and they also have two pitchers that are expiring right now. Okay, 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 okay. All right, this one, yeah, yeah, we're making, we're making this possible. Who's getting traded here? Okay, so I'm gonna give them Cespedes, and I'm also gonna throw in, mm, so like Kobe Mayo, probably. Is going to get thrown in as well. Or maybe Norby. I'm going to throw in this. Because I, I, wa I want one of these guys. I just don't know who. I want Tyler Maley. Um, And I think. Ooh, this actually gets the job done. I'm also going to give him Jemai Jones. Because I'm not using him. There we go. They, there we go. So they get a prospect. Jemai Jones and George Springer for those two. Yes, I know. Not the most realistic. But it gets the job done. And it gets us two players that I'm actually pretty psyched about. All right, so here we are. Still still at the deadline, I wanted to show you the team. So um, DJ Stewart's going to come in versus righties and then versus lefties. I think I'm going to go Newstrom just because Stewart sucks versus uh, lefties. And then pitching-wise, obviously, Maley comes in, helps us out quite a bit. And uh, where is Lucas Sims? Do I maybe go like that? So it looks like he was used as a, a setup guy. So that actually works out perfectly. There we go. That is so good that is exactly what we needed and I, I like i like those moves i like those moves i don't need to make any big extensions right now so i'm gonna hold off it should save us a little bit of money also that a little bit a little bit and then we have to pay some players at the end of the year we'll have to wait and see how santander does because i'm not too sure about him just yet but right now we're in a good spot so sadly we lost our wild card spot 88 and 74 and I, I kind of understand it. We 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 kind of cooled off. We definitely cooled off. Six games out in the East and in the wild card, one game, one game. Did we have a tiebreaker? We didn't. We just we lost this game, which probably hurt us. And that, that's okay. I mean, I'm still really happy with what this team did. The fact that we went from 80 or no 50 wins to 88 wins. That's a huge jump. And I feel like that that puts us in a really good spot. A really really good spot moving forward. So I think I think we're gonna be I think we're gonna be a good. So looking at league leaders, Mancini with home runs, Trey Turner's with triples, and anything else that's like kind of crazy. Let's see here. 51 doubles. Wow. For Chris Taylor. 13 for uh, Trey Turner. Matt McClain. Okay. 13 triples for him as well. Home runs with Mancini and Schwarber. Awards. What do we have here? A gold glove and rookie of the year for Rutschman. All right. Mancini was also in the mix for MVP. Good for him. Aaron Judge with the Braves. Wow. Him and Acuna in the outfield. Oof. Bueller won Cy Young along with Bieber. Verdugo and Mookie Betts are the batting title winners. Floro and Barnes are the relievers of the year. And then Rutschman won Rookie of the Season. Rookie of the Year, sorry. Along with Nico Holsizer. Okay, okay, okay. All right, let's take a look at our pitching. It looks like something's kind of changed. Doesn't really look like... Oh, it looks like Fultonavich got sent down, which... Kind of expected that. Tommy Wilson also. He wasn't terrible, but like I kind of see why he was sent down. You know what I mean? So Jaden Hill came up and he actually gave us 26 innings of really, really good work. The whip is high. Really, 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 really high. But it's good to see that he can, you know, he can deliver when needed. Um, we've got Solzer. Lakins was good. Baraki was okay. He's improving. I have faith. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Not so much with Tate, <laughs> um, but he only pitched eight innings, so it's tough to judge him. Lucas Sims was solid. Tanner Scott came up, got roughed up a little bit, and then Tyler Wells was really, really good. I don't know if he's going to hold that rating, but he was solid. And then John Means, yep. Okay, Savvy. We got Maley, Eflin. That's not good to see, considering I just oh, but I gave him a, I gave him an option, didn't I? Was it a, was it an option? I gave him an option, right? I hope I did. If not, we're in trouble because that's not what I want to see. And then, for some reason, Paul Fry was here because Fulton Avich got sent down. But we're not in the postseason, so it's not too important. Newstrom looks like he kind of was bad. Favre was okay. Not great. Mateo. Bam, boom. And that's really about it. And then we take a look at our starters. Again, 30 home runs for Mullins, which is awesome to see. 
power went down a little bit, but not a bad season. Not a bad year at all. Mancini was great. Love to see that. DJ Stewart, good on base percentage, good average, OPS. You know what? I don't hate those numbers. I don't. Santander definitely took a step up and he's moving in the right direction. It just depends. I really don't know what to do with him. Same thing with Mountcastle. Doesn't look like he's improving too much more. He does, like, 30 home runs is great. But man, he didn't improve much. <laughs> like, at all. Uh, Urias, again, just like an on-base guy. Just, like, contact. 14 home runs is not terrible, though. Iggio. Oh. Okay. Good to see. Good to see. And then Rutschman, you know, I'll take that. 20 home runs. Solid, solid, solid. So, looking at Rosario, the dude rakes and that's kind of why i'm like i think we could get away with losing santander we've got him like he hits well we've got Kowser, almost there but i don't think yet i think he's really high rated because of his fielding and speed and then we have ojeda we have kirstead who i think may maybe he also could like him versus lefties rosario versus righties we could do that that could be like a little platoon situation for the outfield that's like why I'm like, I'm not 100% sure on what to do with Santander. So let's get to the offseason. Let's figure this out. The Astros defeat the Dodgers as I just rip out my headphones. But um, we'll, we'll, we'll keep moving forward. And what? I just don't know what to do here. Justin Turner retires. Mickey retires as well. All right. Uh, we didn't get F. We didn't get Eflin the option. Okay. I guess we can make him the five or something like that. Newstrom, I gave him an option. Doesn't really look like he's improving much more. I'll, I'll decline it. Maley. Thing is, we gave Eflin the option. We're not going to have a lot of money to work with. As you can see, we only have 60 mil in the bank. I would have rather kept Maley than Eflin. <sighs> Essentially, we're trading Springer for Sims because I'm keeping Sims 100%. 100% and Eflin just isn't panning out, sadly. And I would have rather kept Maley. Can we keep Maley too? But we've got Hill. We've got Grayson Rodriguez. And then we've also got DL Hall. But I guess we could do one of them here. Keep Maley and then let Eflin walk. And then in season four. Because like I'm looking at Jaden Hill. Yes, he's 24. I think he's the guy that slots in here. What about DL Hall? Like Grayson Rodriguez too. Uh, can I cut Eflin? What's that going to cost me? 10 mil. Do I, do I bite it? Do I bite the bullet? I think I do. I think I do. All right. I'm not going to lie. I took a little bit of a break after my, uh, that those first couple seasons and I totally forgot what I was doing. So I had to go watch the end of my first recording session to figure out what was going on. So, <laughs> so basically what I was thinking about not offering a contract to Tyler Maley, but I feel like this is a really dumb idea. I feel like he's a pretty solid pitcher. We don't necessarily need an ACE. You know, we have means and Severino Maley slots in perfectly at the three. And then we still have the, the other youngsters as well. The thing is, like, I don't really like Eflin. But at the same time, I feel like, is he going to... He might end up being better than what we currently have. So, let's just let's just rock with what we got. And now, I got to make sure we don't lose any of these, these prospects that are potentially off the 40-man. So, like, Heston Kierstead, obviously don't want to lose him. He's a guy that I might end up using this year. His stats aren't fantastic, but he could, he could end up being pretty decent for us. So... Let me get through here. We don't really have a lot of money, and uh, it's it's gonna be close if we're gonna be able to sign anybody. That's that's the big thing here. Uh, yeah. Let's see how much money we have. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a salary dump with Eflin and Shed Long for D Nelson Lamette. We actually do need some bullpen help. So this is actually a guy who becomes a free agent at the end of this upcoming season, and right now, like, he could just be an okay long reliever. So there we go. We pick up a bullpen arm. That's what we need. All right, I'm going big on this one. I want Shohei in a rebuild. Baltimore, yes, we're going to make it. We're going to make it Otani's home. Uh, 11 years is the offer. I do need some bullpen help, but I want to kind of wait and see what other names become available. Also, like, he pitched one year, had a really good ERA. He can't be that expensive. What is he looking for for, like, a season? Five mil? That's, that's not too bad. Seth Lugo at 34 years old. He's looking for about five mil too. Okay. We might be able to find a, a couple cheap pickups. Let, let, let's take a look here. So like we've got an, like a couple okay arms, but like, all right. So we have, let's see here. Let's, let's move him. So we have Lamette here who could also like maybe be moved down, but we definitely need at least one bullpen arm, at least one. So I feel like, 
going out and getting somebody probably the smart smart move rather than trying to like flip so who could we get that shouldn't cost too much how much does he want for a season nine mil Ugh. i don't know about that one so maybe like trevor may has been really good for us Seth lugo has been pretty solid for us let's go Ooh, is he going down though a couple stats are let's let's just go like one year with kayla maybe bump it up to like six mil and that's probably it in terms of like signings for us because I don't, I don't really see, see us being able to afford much more. I just don't think we will be able to. Honestly, Reyes might not be bad. And he's super cheap. Let's go four. Throw him the bullpen. That definitely takes us out of the signings for any other players. But again, like, that actually looks pretty solid. Like, two bullpen arms and a really good pitcher. I think we can do that. And I feel like we could flip a couple players if need be offensively. I think that's going to be a little bit easier situation for us. He went to the Astros for this, like the same amount of money, dude. Come on. I, dude, I'm never going to get Shohei. This sucks. All right, so I still I still want a pitcher. Who, though? Who are we going to go out and get? We are going to go out and we are going to get... I guess we bring in Tyler Maley. It's 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 cheaper. I'll, give, I'll go three years. I, I am going to go the club option. So it's about half the price. And that's okay. We, we'll we'll rock with this, and uh, we're, we're back with the guy that uh, we we started. <laughs> we initially had the offer out on, and that actually allows us a little bit of money to play with. You know, getting a, a position player if we really wanted to. So let's let's see here. So I'm actually thinking of bringing in Kierset over Santander because if I looked at their stats, they're really really similar. The only difference is Santander has a little bit more power versus righties. And outside of that, I'm actually really liking our offense. I feel like we could use another outfielder. So, like, I've looked, I've looked, I've looked at our team. And so, like, you can see Kierstead is, like, all 60s for the power and contact, which is basically what Santander has. It's just the power versus righties is higher. And then left field, we do have Rosario. And then we do have Kowser in center field. So, I don't know. Do we rock with the young guys? I feel like Rosario is potentially a guy that could help us out a little bit. His vision and discipline is is okay, but I just don't think Kowser's ready just yet with the 60 contact. I guess we could try it out. I mean, they're really similar to what we currently have anyways. So, like, what's the worst that can happen? They suck, and then we just pick somebody up at the deadline? That could be the move. And then that way we can just kind of focus on the pitching, spend money there, because that's really what's been lacking with this team is the pitching. So, that might be the move. I think we skip on the offense. We wait, we be patient with some of our young guys, and then we kind of just focus on solidifying this pitching staff, which I think what our offer is just Tyler Maley right now. I don't hate that. All right, we're bringing in two youngsters into the squad, Kowser and Kierstead. And then otherwise the offensive lineup is the exact same, except we brought in Alec Bohm, who was chilling in free agency. So I thought, you know what, as a bench bat, kind of nice, kind of nice. He could probably maybe split time with Biggio at third. Could, could be a possibility. Pitching rotation, we got Rodriguez and Jaden Hill. A little nervous about these two. But then obviously Kayla and Alex Reyes has also come in. So bullpen definitely got elevated a little bit, plus the addition of Lamette. And then I'm going to keep my eye on DL Hall a lot because I want him to be involved. It's just like the control's low, the walks per nine is low. And at 25 years old and 68 overall, I feel like he should be a little bit better. So he might end up being a trade piece for us if we end up needing like a, a starter or an offensive uh, an offensive bat i really want to get kowser and kierstead as many at bats as possible i want them to be key pieces of the team i kind of want kowser kierstead and rutschman to be that core for me i know the orioles have some other prospects as well middle infielders that are pretty highly talked about i was looking at their prospect list again just to kind of get familiar with it and um oh man who's the I know, I know draft deck marks really high on Kobe Mayo. I know they have Gunnar Henderson, Jordan Westberg as well. So I know there's some names there. Uh, Connor Norby is another player that I could call up. So I know there's names out there. It's just for right now, they're just not good enough. And it, I had an open outfield spot and that's why I'm kind of rocking with these two. Plus their hitting stats were very comparable to the players that we currently have. So I felt like, let's just throw them in, see how they're doing. So this is the team right now. We're currently ranked 11th. I feel like in season three, we should be making the postseason.
Here's our draft for the season. Cabrera, not as good as I would have hoped. He's actually a player that could potentially be a backup for us really quickly. 78 potential though is not great. 87 for Vladimir De Silva and then 78 for Hoyt Brennan. And then our last pick was Manuel Trevino, who's 51 overall. Probably not going to see him. He's got 84 potential, but uh, maybe De Silva could help us out. And then maybe Cabrera could be a nice little backup for us at shortstop. All right, so we won the division, 92 and 70. I accidentally skipped over the, the stats or the notifications. So there you can see, two and a half games above the Blue Jays. Big, big season for us. We're finally atop the division. And we made the postseason for the first time in the rebuild. And I think this is a good team. I definitely think we can improve it a little bit. I saw some players that are letting me down. I think a, a couple actually are letting me down. As you can see, the offensive notifications there. Yeah, there definitely are a couple that are really disappointing me and I'll, I'll i'll just bring one up right away is mount castle and um i just don't know what it is about him in franchise he doesn't do well did i just see vladdy hit 64 home runs yeah he did oh casual season casual season for the man with the wagon but what i was saying is mount castle i don't know what it is in franchise whenever i use him he's not good in real life i think mount castle's a fantastic player but something about him in franchise and me we just don't get along like i don't know what it is he's one of those guys that like i usually see him on other teams and he mashes the ball he does really really well but whenever he's on my team he does really poorly and i don't want to get rid of him because he's also part of this core that i want to build around um i ran out of disk space uh, or i ran out of uh, space on my computer so i had to restart <laughs> recording so what i was saying was if he becomes a detriment to the team i don't want to keep him into the squad but but like i said i want to i want to have him be part of the team so let's, let's talk about this team because i'm actually really liking it i think these pickups that we're making are really really good pitching wise i knew we were gonna make a lot of changes offensively though i feel like we've we've added a couple pieces but we've kind of kept that core that i wanted so the nilson lament came in he might give us another season or two and i'm hoping he's kind of cheap so we can bring him back i think he fits this long relief role perfectly solzer hasn't been terrible lakens has been fantastic you got Kayla, who gave us a really strong season, but you can see he's starting to decrease in overall. So it might just be a one and done for him. Reyes, not as good as I would have hoped. And I only did a one year deal just to kind of see how he would do. I might try to give him the setup role because Lucas Sims also struggled. So maybe Reyes comes in as a setup and that's what uh, will make him a little bit better. Because you see he pitched 100 innings here and had 20 saves. So like, or 20 hold, uh, yeah, holds. So maybe that's his spot rather than the middle relief role. I don't know. We'll have to figure out what to do with our pitchers. And then Tanner Scott came in for a couple innings was okay. But Tyler Wells is really surprising me in this, in this closer role. So I'm pretty happy there. John Means uh, extended his contract, by the way. So there's that. He's sticking around. He's fantastic. Savvy's been fantastic for us. We've got Tyler Maley. He's been great. Grayson Rodriguez, you know what? I will take that. That is not bad at all. And Jaden Hill, same thing. You know what? As a four and a five, I can be, you know what? We can work with that. And then, like I said, D.L. Hall is just, he went up a little bit more, but like maybe he's a long reliever for us. I don't, I just don't know what to do with him. He's one of those that I wish was a little bit better. That's, that's, that's what it is. I just wish he was a little bit better. So looking at our farm system, Joe Corona had a pretty decent season in terms of growth. Also, Rosario is looking really, really good. We're going to have to find a way to get him into the lineup because like this looks like a guy who's going to hit like 300. No problem. Now that I said that, he's probably going to be pretty bad, but you know what I mean. Same thing with Ojeda. 86 contact versus righties. Oof. Love to see that in the lineup soon. And Toby Welk looks okay. There was somebody else. Ooh. Where is he? Norby. Looks all right. We've got Hall. Gunnar Henderson, I mean, his contact numbers are almost in the 70s, so he's got to be a guy that gets looked at fairly soon. Who else do we have? Ramirez looks okay. He's slowly developing. Kobe Mayo, slowly developing. So we've got some names. And then our bench here. You know what? I'll keep Bohm around. Vavra's been really good off the bench. I don't know how with those hitting numbers, but he is. Anybody else? I think that's it. All right, let's take a look at our starters. Mullins is still hitting close to 30 home runs. Trey Turner had a great year. Mancini's slowly starting to decrease, and I knew this was coming. I gave him another extension for a couple seasons. So what I'm thinking is, <laughs> I think Mount Castle's got to go, sadly, because I already know Trey Mancini's going to start to decrease, and I need a first baseman. Maybe 
it's Ojeda's turn to come in and take over that first base spot. Maybe Mount Cap uh, maybe Mancini just kind of keeps in this DH spot. But I'm thinking Mountcastle becomes a trade piece for us just to maybe maybe solidify our bullpen a little bit more or something. I don't know, but we got to figure something out. Urias is still an on-base machine. Vigio, you know what? 380 on base percentage. I will take that. And then Kowser, not terrible. Not great, but not terrible. And Kirstad was rookie of the year. Had a really good year, almost 30 home runs. So I'm really happy with that, that decision. And then Adley Rutschman improved. So everything's looking good. Everything's looking really solid. So postseason time. What do we got here? We don't have, we don't have valid lineups. Why? Who did we lose that would have changed that second baseman? Did like Mateo get sent down? Oh, Mateo did get sent down. Okay, so second baseman. We'll just do something like that. And what is this? No DH? Yeah, okay. So our DH lineups were good. So I'm not worried about it there. Here we go. Where are we? Postseason. Game one, we win. Game two, we lose. Ooh, lose that one. And we get eliminated by the Guardians. Okay, okay. You know what? Fair. Astros defeat the Cubs. All right. And retired players. We lost Zach Jackson. But you know what? I, I like this. I like this. We're in a good spot. We're in a really good spot. So I'm going to pick up this option. It was super cheap. It was two mil. We're going to bring back Lamette for another year. We're going to give him the bullpen roll. He only wants like four mil. I'm going to bump it up to 4.5. I'm going to let Kayla go. I'm, I, I wasn't impressed with re what Reyes did. So I'm going to let him walk. And Lucas Sims, I know is going to want a lot of money. Six mil. How much money do we have? 57 mil. I've already extended a majority of the players that I wanted to extend. So most of it's going to be arbitration and small tendered contracts. We should be within budget. I really don't want to bring in anybody because if I was going to make any changes to the lineup, it was probably going to be getting rid of players I didn't want through trades. This might be the smart move. He did have a really bad year, though, but the whip was low. He also did pitch a, a lot fewer innings. So you know what? I'm going to I'm going to give him the money he wants. We're going to give him a player option. We're going to bump it up a little bit. He wants to be a closer. We might be able to make that work. We might be able to make that work. All right. Let's go. Let's see what do I want to bring back Reyes? What happens if I don't bring back Reyes? So we take we'll take Lucas Sims out of the picture. We'll take Tanner Scott out of the picture too. I meant Sims stays. It was Scott that I wanted to move. So it's probably gonna make maybe we flip this, maybe move Wells out of the closer spot. Just because I can start to see some stats decreasing. So maybe we go Reyes set up, Sims closer. And then maybe maybe a bullpen arm a lefty which could be tanner scott okay honestly we might we might be in business and then offensively i think a trade so yeah okay uh let's let's go back let's see what reyes wants for another season 4.3 i'll bump it up to 4.5 and we should be good to go hopefully they all take those offers did they a couple didn't okay so we'll have to keep our eye on that let me sort this out and we'll see what we can do in free agency all right, DL Hall and Darrell Ernais are getting us two pitching prospects in the Dodgers organization just to have just to have some more pitching prospects. That's really what I'm looking for here. I'm going to send them down to triple A and that'll actually get us down to 26 guys. So here we are. Mountcastle has been moved to the bench. I might throw them in versus lefties because Ojeda struggles versus lefties. That actually that actually might be the move. Um, leave them in versus lefties and then maybe change the lineup a little bit here. Maybe go like Rutschman in three. Something, something kind of like this. I like our offensive team. I think we're looking pretty solid there. Pitching, obviously, we've kind of kept the same team as last year. I feel like maybe we could improve a little bit. Maybe Solzer goes. Maybe we go and get a reliever. Or maybe two relievers. Because, like, our C potential guys can't be improving that much. I'm a little worried about it. So, let's let's go get at least one reliever. We'll send out Solzer somewhere. What's Baraki looking like? Not great. He hasn't really been improving as much as i would have liked so let's see if we can go out what's he is he a free agent he's got one more year of control boom perfect zach little in the team he actually slots in perfectly right there there we are that is big that was a, that's a good reliever to pick up there we are we're ranked third i need to pay Sevi and mullins i don't know if i have the money to do that also biggio how much does biggio want eight mil how much does mullins want 19 i feel like Mullins is a little bit more of a priority. And Sevy's been good. So what does he want? 20. Can I like backload it? I can. I, th 
think we're going to be really tight on money. Oh, this is going to be tough. We got quite a few players becoming free agents. So this is kind of like a make or break year before we have to change some things up. Could I do like a two year a club? I, I mean, I guess I guess four years we backload it. Eight and a half mils really not that, that much. Maybe we go something like that. Increase the salary. What about like nine? Can we get nine? Okay, we're going to be really tight on money. I already know it. Let's see. Yeah, it's going to be really close. Oh, we're going to have to we're going to have to figure it out. What year is this year four? Let's see. One, two, three, four. Okay, here we are. This, this has got to be a big year for us. We really need it. Let's get to the regular season. Let's see what we're ranked. 10th, first in contact, fifth in pitching. I mean, this. I feel something good about this team. So again, another division title. Eight games above the Blue Jays, who actually made the postseason as well as a wildcard team. Um, Okay. The Braves, 105 wins. The Padres, 102 wins. Hmm, there's a playoff picture for you. Pretty interesting. That's Milwaukee in the top right, because I know I'm covering it. League leaders, Trey Turner with stolen bases, Cedric Mullins. Okay, crazy season. Love to see it. Anybody else doing crazy, crazy things here? Like crazy amount of home runs, maybe? Like we saw 64 last season. A lot of triples. It always seems like the, the, the leader in triples. There's always one of them that's got like close to 20. Which isn't Shohei with 50 home runs. And a sub three ERA, that's nutty. He's going to be so good to have in franchise this year. He's, he's going to be like a must get if you can. Gold glove for two of our players. Shohei MVP, deserving. Judge as well. Strowman, Otani, Cy Young, and MVP. Ooh, okay. Um, what else we got here? Batting title. How's your Don this year? He looks pretty good still. Looks pretty good. We got Devin Williams and Smeltzer as a reliever of the year. And then you got Quintero and Brett Beatty. All right. Okay. Those are your rookies of the season. So, or rookies of the year, I should say. I always say rookies of the season. I don't know why. But let's let's sort this out. Denoso Lament, I'll show you his numbers. He was actually pretty bad. So I'm probably not going to bring him back. So we'll just, we'll send him down. And we'll probably call up. It looks like they sent down somebody else. Lakins. Why? He was really good. So let's call him up. Let's send down Lamette, and then we should be good on the pitching front. Actually, we have an extra pitcher. Dylan Tate needs to be sent down, which means an offensive player was sent down, which is not good. Who? Who was sent down? I'm trying to see here. Mancini and Mountcastle? Oh, boy. That's not, that's not what you want to see. So I know I sent down DJ Stewart because he was having an atrocious season. He had like a 150 average or some, something crazy like that but i'm gonna send down tate for now he might actually be in the bullpen next year he's been pretty solid so let's see how the team's looking now that we've got this all sorted so he comes up ryan i don't know how to say his last name but ryan comes up gives us 30 innings really solid little was good yikes oh we're gonna need a lefty for the bullpen 100 percent lakens was solid wells continues to do really really well reyes was a, exactly what we should have put him in the setup role and then Sims was really good as a closer. And then when we take a look at our pitchers, I mean, <laughs> they've been fantastic. I mean, these two guys, yeah, they have four ERAs. And Grayson Rodriguez kind of was a little bit worse. But for the most part, I'm liking what I'm seeing with this team. So now, offensively, 32 home runs for Mancini, even though he had that average and on-base percentage, is kind of wild. It's kind of wild indeed. Taron Vavra continues to be like an on-base machine off the bench. And that's that's it. Oh, Gunnar Henderson. Eh. All right, Mullins, 32 home runs again. Mullins is just 30 plus home runs every year. Trey Turner still putting up really solid numbers. Biggio just extended his contract. And of course, he's like, you know what? Let me cool off a little bit. Boom, I put him at first base. He looks like he's doing pretty well here. Urias continues to do really, really well. Career year for him. Ojeda came up, cooled off a little bit, but honestly, not a terrible year. Hauser definitely took a step back. Kierstead definitely took a step back. And then Rutschman took a step back. Not what you want to see from your youngsters. Corona looks okay. Definitely needs to improve a little bit more on the discipline. And even the contact numbers are a little low. But he doesn't look too far off. This guy's got to get into the team next year. I don't know how, but we're going to get him into the team next year. He looks unbelievable. And I think that's... I think that's it i know we've got some youngsters down here that look kind of decent as well so we'll we'll keep the eye on them and let me make sure the lineup's all good we'll throw him here and do something like that 
DH versus lefties. Hmm. Maybe Bohm. And then who else could we throw in? Maybe Mountcastle also gets involved at first. I guess that's what we do. I guess. I guess. I, guess. I don't know. I feel like that may not be the right move, but let's see what happens in the postseason. Can we do it against the White Sox? John Means still in cease. Game one, we win. Severino game two, we win. And Maley, we sweep them. That's what I like to see. We're taking on the Blue Jays now. It's going to be a tough matchup. This one's this one's a little bit, <laughs> just a tad bit tougher than the last one, you know? Especially that, that squad that they have is insane. So we win the first and the second and the third. We sweep them facing the Padres in the World Series. All right, who's got game one? Jaden Hill. Okay, so let's go. Let's just go with what, what's been working. You know, like, why change it? Everything's been flying. So can we do it this year? A loss there is not great. A win is good. You know what? I backed out because I'm like, this is a elimination game in the postseason. Let's let's change this up. Means is actually having a, a terrible postseason. Let's go Sevy instead. And let's see what we can do. I like the way this looks. This looks clean. This looks really clean um, compared to the rest of... The menus for franchise this looks clean i like this it also moves really quickly so that's good to see too but up to nothing in our elimination game make it four nothing five nothing and i like the looks of this this is looking really really solid so ooh, what do we do i mean like obviously we want to keep adding more runs and i mean if this score line keeps we're we're heading to game seven right i mean seven nothing i mean things are looking great obviously Look at their team, though. Cronenworth, Marte, Tatis, Machado, Xander Bogarts, Ian Happ? What? This team's insane. No wonder why they made it to the, the World Series. This team is unbelievable. Unbelievable. And, um, I mean, we're, we're, what, in the sixth now? Severino's still dealing. Can he keep going, though? Alexi Enriquez. What? Who? How does this guy look? Honestly, looks kind of good. Um... Couple stats are pretty low, like the pitching clutch and everything, but for the most part it looks pretty good. Like his his numbers look insane. But uh okay, okay. Come on, Savvy. Let's runner was thrown out. One run scores. Alright, I'm gonna take him out before things get a little crazy. We'll go Lakens here. We'll go Lakens here. What is going on? Oh, it's the ninth. Why didn't I just bring it? Oh, it's the it was the eighth. Okay, I didn't okay. I wasn't I wasn't wrong. I was like, this can't be the ninth. And now we go to Sims, and he closes it out. Ah, that got a little dicey there. It definitely got a little dicey. So this means we just got to do... Oh, wait, they have Zach Eflin. Game 7 for Zach Eflin. Game 7, man. I mean, this is this is insane. And for Zach Eflin, the former Oriole. John Means is getting roughed up. Maley's getting roughed up. Do we go Grayson Rodriguez? Maybe start him as an opener and then turn to maybe like John Means later on? Let's go Grayson Rodriguez as an opener. Maybe he gives us three good innings. We get the single to start the inning. First and second here, and we can't take advantage of it. First and second for them. A double play was big, but they score. They take advantage of the runner, and we don't. So that's not good to see. Like We need the, we need the offense to, to get firing here. And this is the perfect opportunity. The sack fly, and he strikes out. That's two times now that we, we haven't scored with the runner right there. Ready to take advantage of it. Again... Back-to-back -back innings, runner on third with one out, and we couldn't bring in the runner. That's, there we go, Biggio. That's just what we needed. Get back equal. We're going to take out Rodriguez, and let's go to, do we go Means? Let's see. I mean, they kind of have a really stacked righty lineup. I feel like bringing in the lefty isn't the right move. Is Tyler Maley the right move? Maybe Ryan instead. Tyler Maley was getting roughed up a little bit in the postseason, so maybe... Maybe Ryan's the right move here. One run does score. That's tough. That's tough. They're they're taking advantage of the runners in scoring position, and we're not. That's kind of the story of the game. You know, if we could have scored with those two guys at third base, we'd be up three to two right now. Again, we've got runners in scoring position. Biggio. Three for four. Have a day. There we go. Alec Bohm. Bases loaded for Ojeda. Two run score on the single. This is just what we needed. A sack fly makes it a six to two game. We're in the seventh. Let's start using our bullpen. Kind of our high leverage guys here. Runner was thrown out and he gets out of the inning. The tough jam there. They bring in Mad Bum and 
Bases are loaded. Can't score there. That's all right. Let's go to Reyes. Let's set this thing up. And one, two, three inning. Is this going to be it for the Orioles? Are we going to end it right here? I mean, four, four runs, not necessarily a save situation, but I got to bring in Sims. I got to close it out. And we've done it with the Orioles four seasons. So who is our MVP? Brad Ojeda and the playoff MVP, Adley Rutschman, who actually had a really, really good postseason. So let's see. Pitching. Grayson Rodriguez was great. Jaden Hill, six innings. Solid outing, though. John Means got roughed up a little bit. Severino was fantastic. And Maley got roughed up a little bit. But the bullpen. Ooh. Lakin, Lakin struggled. Okay. But everybody else, round of applause. I mean, that is that is insane. Lineup-wise, how'd the bench do? Mountcastle did pretty well. It looks like he was our main bench bat, our only bench bat. And then everybody else, take a bow. I mean, they kind of, they definitely carried the team. Kowser struggled, but Kierstead was really good. Rutschman was really good. Everybody was really good. And the fact that we were able to do this in four seasons is super fun. And you know what? I think I'm going to, I'm going to leave it there. We couldn't get Rosario into the team, sadly. But you know what? I feel like this is, this is a good rebuild and I'm okay with ending it at four. I know I said I was going to do five. But I think I think four is a good one. And we're going to end up doing the Orioles again at some point. I'm going to do realistic rebuilds. I'm going to do 10 year rebuilds. I'm going to do stuff like that. So there's going to be other videos with teams. And I think this was a fun one because we kept Mullins. We had Urias. We brought in Kowser, Kirstead, Rutschman. We brought in Grayson Rodriguez. Like John Means was still part of the team. I feel like we kind of did 50 50. We kept the core. We brought this team up. We had some fun with it. I think it's a good point to leave it. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Of course, if you did hit that like button down below, subscribe to the channel for new and enjoy the content. And of course, in the comment section, let me know what team we should do next. That's about it. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Did you enjoy today's video? If you did, I've got another one for you right here. Boom, right there. Check it out. It's going to be great. Recommend this one.